Jesus, he is not the God who was created by people's imagination. He is the real God who is still alive. He is the one who created heaven and earth. He has created us. So when he sees us, he knows we are his children. They have been created by me. Now they are in sin. They are in curse. I should give them deliverance. So he died for us on the cross and with love and passion, he gives us deliverance. That is why he gives us this deliverance. Not like you bring this and I will give you freedom. You give me this offering, then I will give you freedom. He never said like that. If I start in the morning, uh, by night, I would have consumed at least a full bottle. After drinking, uh, whether they are officers or anybody else, I don't respect them at all. Doctor said his liver should be transplanted. If there's anyone who is dead, uh, we can take that liver and transplant it to him. I could not eat any food. Uh, even if I eat, I used to get hiccups. Nothing went into my stomach. And finally, I got bedridden. My name is Selvaraj. For the past 19 years, I am working as a clerk in Minyanapuram Panchayat Board. I am happily married and having two daughters. I am staying in Minyanapuram with my little family. When I was studying in ITI, I started to drink with my friends. Initially, we just started as a fun only. But as days went by, I got addicted and it became worse. I used to think of stopping it, but I couldn't leave this habit. After that, I got a job in Panchayat as a clerk. After getting the job in Panchayat, uh, my habit became worse. After that, it became a must for me. Soon after I get up in the morning, after brushing my teeth, uh, instead of coffee, I used to start the day with alcohol and continue drinking till night. I don't eat properly. I drink only alcohol. When I used to go to office, uh, I drink and then only go. While in office, uh, during coffee break times, I used to drink alcohol and then continue to work. I, I couldn't stop it and it became a habit. I did not know how to stop it. I became so much addicted. I could not leave this. After drinking, I used to shout at uh, higher officers or anybody without respect. I used to drag everyone into some sort of uh, quarrel. Even the fights which are supposed to come next week, I will prepone it to this week. This is how I used to be. Because of my drinking habit, uh, I lost my job uh, for about uh, one and a half years. Because of his drinks, uh, there was no happiness in our family. One particular thing that happened is, uh, after drinking uh, till evening, I used to go to church because there was no one in our village. So I used to take bath and uh, go to church and thinking that uh, my sins will be forgiven. Hence, I used to go to the church and conduct prayer. I have been conducting this uh, prayer uh, on a daily basis without fail. I never felt that uh, I should leave this alcohol habit. I had never had uh, any difficulty for purchasing liquor. If I ask, similarly, if I ask money for uh, buying essential things, uh, people won't give me. But uh, if I ask for buying liquor, people will buy it for me. I have been addicted to this alcohol for the past 15 years. At last, uh, I got uh, jaundice. Everybody used to have it at the rate of 1.8. But for me, it was 8.6. Due to jaundice, I could not walk even one step. Even I couldn't get up from the bed. I could not eat anything or even drink water. I could not even get down from the bed and even stand. Because of drinking too much, his liver was affected and was admitted in the hospital. <laughs> Doctor said uh, if anyone is dead by accident, their liver can be taken and transplanted to him. At last, uh, he lost his conscious and uh, he did not know what he is doing. Doctor said that I should be operated. But even then, uh, he said uh, he cannot give any guarantee to my life. I came straight to my house. I could not drive the car. 
so i called a brother from the neighboring house and he drove my car to the hospital i could not even sit in the car i suffered a lot in 2017 i went for a thursday prayer meeting conducted by brother mohan at that time brother mohan called people who are sick to come to the friend for prayer he said uh, those who are sick should keep their hand on the spot so my husband also kept his hand on his stomach and prayed when i cried and prayed at that time I felt a jerk in my stomach immediately I felt a sort of deliverance completely and at last I waited till the end of the meeting and brother Mohan C Lazarus uh, kept his hand on my stomach and uh, he prayed strongly for me and from that day till today I don't have any problems little by little all my illness went away whatever i could not eat earlier uh, now i am able to eat everything all the work that i couldn't do earlier now i am able to do i am doing all my daily jobs without any hindrance i thank god for that many people say it is very difficult to cure a drunkard and make him normal they said clerk's stomach has swollen uh, completely but by god's grace after we went for that meeting my husband was completely cured yesu ne mere liye chamatkar kar diya मेरा चमत्कार सदा देखेगा तू मेरा चमत्कार देखेगा तू मेरा चमत्कार सदा देखेगा तू मेरा चमत्कार देखेगा तू चमत्कार दिखेगा हर रोज दिखेगा चमत्कार मानो तो आज दिखेगा चमत्कार दिखेगा हर रोज दिखेगा चमत्कार मानो तो आज दिखेगा नाउ आई डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम्स इन माय बॉडी I'm eating well. I'm doing my work well. I'm driving my car, I'm riding my bike and uh, I'm doing all my jobs without any hindrance. People of my village were saying that the clerk will not survive and he is going to die any moment. But the reality is I am surviving as a testimony to God. I am thankful to God for that. Not only that, uh, the alcoholic habit uh, that I had for 15 years has completely vanished from the alcoholic drinking habit i am redeemed completely now i don't touch the alcohol even with my hand i don't even think of it now i don't even like to see people drinking i thank uh, jesus christ for giving me freedom from this habit and now people are astonished i thank god from the very depth of my heart My beloved friends I am welcoming all of you in the name of Jesus Christ to this program called Miracle Time This is your miracle time the time Jesus is going to do a miracle for you Do you believe it Today you need a miracle in life That is why God has given his grace to you to see this program Whoever you may be may be Christians or may be non-Christians You may have faith in God or you may be an atheist or it doesn't matter. Listen to this message. Since Lord Jesus is loving you, he has made you to see this program to do a miracle for you and make you happy. Just now you heard a wonderful testimony. One dear brother named Selvaraj, he had the habit of alcohol for 15 years. He started to drink liquor for fun, but he was affected in life. he couldn't leave it due to that sin he was affected by a disease his liver was damaged and reached a situation where he will not survive all the villagers said selvaraj will die very soon in such a situation he comes in search of jesus he came in search of god and when submitted himself to the word of god the hands of jesus has touched him you see freedom from sin he was delivered from the habit of alcohol for 15 years who can do this kind of miracle in a fraction of a second just one touch only jesus changes the life of a person 15 years of alcoholic habit he was delivered from that he left that thought itself due to alcohol his liver was damaged but jesus touched his sickness and healed him 
Today he is delivered from sin, delivered from the disease. Today he is very happy with his wife and children, you see. He lives near Vijnanapuram. If you have any doubts, you can go and meet him. You can talk to him. Go and ask those villagers. Ask whether he was healed from his disease. Jesus is the God who does miracles. My dear friends, he will do it for you also. I am reading a Bible verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. When a man comes into Christ, what will happen? When a man accepts Jesus, he changes religion. From this religion to that religion, nothing such happens, friends. Many people talk wrong things about Jesus and Christianity. They talk a lot of things which are only rubbish. They are only lies. Talking lies again and again. They do this for their selfishness and for their own profit. From this verse, I want to tell you one thing. If a person comes into Christ, he doesn't change his religion. He becomes a new creation. If he is a drunkard, he is delivered from alcoholic habit. If he does adultery, he is delivered from adultery. If he has a habit of taking bribes, he is delivered from that. If he has any sinful habit, he is delivered from that and becomes a new creation, a new heart, a new life. That's what Jesus is saying. He doesn't bring a new religion. He makes a new creation, makes him a new man, makes her a new woman. When someone comes into Jesus, that is said here. If anyone comes to Jesus, he becomes a new man, a new creation. Old things will be removed. All old sins will be removed. Sins from birth, sins from deeds, sins which follow from generation. Everything will go away. All old things will go. Only Jesus will be able to do that. Do you know why? Jesus is the only one who carried the sins and curses of men into the cross and sacrificed himself and shed his blood, submitted him to death and was risen from death but living still. So he is the only remedy. Jesus is the only redeemer for all your sins, curses and diseases. He does it free of cost. When you come to him for deliverance, you can ask Selvaraj yourself how much money he gave, how much money you spent, how much money you paid to Mohan Lazarus and got the token. When you come to Jesus, it is free. You can see the difference between truth and lies in his testimony itself. For how many years he was suffering, he came in search of Jesus and got freedom free of cost. Jesus gave him freedom, that's all. There is no need to take tokens. There is no need to pay money. There is no need to pay offerings. It is free. Because Jesus, he is not the God who was created by people's imagination. He is the real God who is still alive. He is the one who created heaven and earth. He has created us. So when he sees us, he knows we are his children. They have been created by me. Now they are in sin. They are in curse. I should give them deliverance. So he died for us on the cross and with love and passion, he gives us deliverance. That is why he gives us this deliverance. Not like you bring this and I will give you freedom. You give me this offering, then I will give you freedom. He never said like that. If any man of God says, bring money, I will heal you. Don't ever believe him. He is cheating you in the name of Jesus. That's all. You cannot see it in the Bible. Jesus says you receive freely, give them freely. Jesus says new creation has come, old is gone, everything is new now. You see, it is a new life, life without sin, life without alcohol, life without disease. A deadly disease caught him. His liver was affected very, very, very badly. Doctors said you have to remove your liver, otherwise you won't survive. But Jesus healed him. With his one touch, his liver has become brand new. Today he is very healthy. That is new creation. Making new, his body was affected. Kidney or heart or one of the organs in your body is affected. Your lungs or whatever part of the body it may be. Just one touch of Jesus will make them brand new. You have to do only one thing. Come into Jesus. That's all. Have faith in Jesus and accept him. That's all. I told one brother, accept Jesus, you will be blessed. He said, accepting Jesus is not important. He should accept me, that is important. I am a sinner, I am a rogue. If he accepts me, that itself is a big matter. That is true, he will accept you. He will never push off anyone saying you are a sinner. He is the God who accepts everyone. 
come to me i will heal your sickness you come i will forgive all your sins jesus says i will deliver you from your sins jesus never said come to me i will change your religion jesus said you come i will give you rest i will deliver you i will heal you that is what jesus is saying you can call on jesus and see you can call his name and see because he died on the cross and was risen he will answer immediately i am doing this sin i cannot leave this alcoholic habit i need freedom if you have faith that when i pray jesus will touch you you will get real deliverance i am suffering with this disease in my body i need healing if you keep your hand there and pray jesus will heal you right now shall we pray first those who want to be delivered from sin i am going to pray for that first alcoholic habit gambling adultery taking bribes injustice black marketing writing wrong accounts earning by robbery leave all that all of them will bring curse to you don't see the world he is doing she is doing don't look at them they are not happy they are acting as though they are well off that's all don't look at that and be fooled even if they spend crores of money and do celebrations mentally they are not happy mentally they have no peace he drinks continuously because only then he can sleep he has no peace don't see all those things tell jesus forgive my sins give me my freedom from this sin i want to live a pure life ask jesus will do that miracle first he will give you deliverance second i want deliverance from this disease i want a miracle in this matter this problem he will do that First those who want deliverance from sin keep your hand on your chest Jesus come into my heart I believe that you have died for me on the cross come into my heart please deliver me from this sin please give me a new heart ask him to give you a new life wherever you have disease keep your hand there please give me a new liver please give me a new kidney please give me a new heart it is damaged heal me now ask him like that give me a new life get rid of my debts problem Give me a child help me to get married whatever miracle you need keep your hands on the body keep your hand on the heart we are going to pray now join me because i am going to pray for each and everything shall we pray let us pray o oh my father whoever realizes their sins and tells you to deliver them from that sin and forgive them alcoholic habits adultery greed for money anger robbery all those who cry god give me deliverance from these sins let these sins go away from me let the sinful habit go away give me deliverance and give me a new heart make me a new creation let the power of your blood descend upon each and every one of them the power of the blood of jesus descend now in the name of jesus let them be delivered right now let their sinful bondages be broken let their sinful habits be gone forever let the sinful behaviors leave forever let them get a new heart i thank you for touching them with the power of your blood i thank you god thank you thank you please now touch those who are sick lord a lot of people are calling you now please heal my liver god heal my lungs lord lord heal my kidney heal my heart now whoever is calling your name asking for healing now all of them be healed in the name of jesus the healing power of jesus is going to descend into them now in the name of jesus of nazareth let all the diseases be healed now tumors go away diseases go away in the name of jesus let the cancer go away let the affected organs become new organs now let their wombs be strengthened those who have no children should become pregnant bless them problems of debts go away financial requirements should be met now all obstacles should be removed let them be blessed a miracle should happen now in the name of jesus everybody will be healed by jesus now I thank you for touching them God I thank you for delivering them from sin from curses and from diseases Jesus I thank you thank you thank you Father from today let them see a change I pray in the name of Jesus O oh Father Amen Amen My dear friends God has heard our prayer He has done a miracle to you have faith From today you will all start seeing miracles a change in your heart and your habits a change in your body a change in the family if any one is in jesus christ the new creation has come the old has gone the new is here 
Now everything is new, new blessings. You will see goodness. Be happy. Please praise God and say, Jesus, thank you. If you don't have a Bible, please buy one. Reading a chapter from that daily. First, you buy a New Testament. If you don't have, ask and we will send you a New Testament. You can read one chapter every day. You can read it in five minutes. When you read little by little, you will start to understand. Those words will bring a big blessing in your life. Pray to Jesus always. As you talk to someone next to you, you can tell Jesus all your problems. He will give you answer and that is prayer. Jesus will do miracles every day for you and lead you. Daily call upon him. Daily pray to him. He will show miracles every day. Let God's blessing be with you. Amen. Dear viewers, kindly share with us the blessings that you have received through this program. Please send your address with phone number to our address below. Jesus redeems. Department of New Media, Nala Mavadi, Tutikurin District, 628211, phone number 04639-220022. For 24 hours prayer support, call 04639-220002. May God bless you.